Tim VZ uh, off of Klein Falls in Bend. Uh, Tim and Jeannie are replacing their electric furnace and heat pump, uh, which is an old train. Uh, where's the model number? There it is. So it's in this little tight closet. This, for whatever reason, was installed. It's just something boxed in. I took most of the screws out of it and stuck my phone down in there and it's just a hollow something. Um, because all that's right there is, you can see from the access panel uh, on that was cut into the side, it's just a piece of transition that goes into the top of the furnace. Uh, the furnace is 26 inches wide, so we have a narrower furnace. It's 49 and a half inches tall. This transition is nine inches and then you got a standard six and a half inches for your filter box for that old electrostatic electrical circuit comes in there on the right there's a little bit of conduit over there the bottom is 26 by 22 deep and it goes straight down into the crawl so it's a little tight but if you had to you could cut it down a little bit i don't think you'll need to the only thing that I wasn't able to get, and you might just want to kind of be, have somebody on hand, because you might need to cut something, is this little spot above the um, filter box has got a piece of board insulation on it. So I don't know how far back that top cam transition is. Because you've got a piece of insulation there and there, like all that can come out. But I can't. This is 20 inches wide. But I don't know exactly how far back it is. I mean, it could be 20 by 20. But I'm just not sure I'm not able to get to it. Um, we can take this out. There are some screws here um, that are kind of overlapping on the trim. So uh, if we need to, we can just saw that. Um, but there's nothing like it's hollow. It's just whatever they decided. I don't know. I don't know if that was on there. Uh, inch and eighth line set, which will work with the Daikin. Um, four ton that we're doing. If I haven't said that already, they are doing a fit. Close this up. should be noted um, that that is a little access panel for the filter box so that can be used if we want to flip it around to help out uh, crawl access is in this closet whoever did the install initially just put a bucket down in the crawl um, to catch condensation so looking at either doing a condensate pump down there which we'll need a plug for or if there's another way um, to possibly run that um, but from what I saw when I got down there probably have to pump it that way to the outside of the house uh, thermostat is six wire uh, let's go this way look at the electric panel GE panel, 60, 60, and 50. Uh, so two breaker swaps. Uh, if you can see that, looks like a challenger breaker. Uh, 
We got some purple sticky punch drying in the garage here. Smells like a skunk. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. So, heat pump is an interesting quandary. For whatever reason, this is connected to a train hot water bank, but we're gonna cap that. Got a plumber coming out to take a look at it uh, to see if it's charged or if he can just cap it off. Um, but we'll need a plumber on site. Uh, uh, the line set is that's actual liquid and suction is the two on the bottom. And your model number. That is solid concrete. So, uh, and there's your disconnect right there, which is offset. Barely. So, Tim Vizi in uh, bend off of Corey Way, one day install.